so I just got done watching Black Adam. I took most of the day off today. It was fried from a weekend of work and whatnot. Did some chores and I settled down. I said, I'm going to watch this motion picture show. Um, this is an interesting movie uh, because it, you know, it did some things right. Uh, I like Shazam. I've always liked Black Adam since I first discovered him. Like in a comic book in grammar school, I was like, who the fuck is this guy? I always thought the name was stupid, but, you know, Black Adam, what? Um, but I was like, okay, that's cool. It was cool to see the Justice Society, you know, Adam Smasher and Dr. Fate was cool. Hawkman was really cool. Um, Black Adam was cool. I mean, there, there, there was a lot about this movie that I liked uh, as a comic book fan. It was cool to just see the stuff and the heroes that I love on screen and stuff. That was awesome. And, you know, yeah, Pierce Brosnan was great as Dr. Fate. Um, you know, uh, the action scenes, like in this what you're looking at right here when Black Adam uh, destroys the bad guys at the beginning of the movie, it's cool. But it can't escape the, uh, it, it just suffers from everything that big budget tentpole $180 million plus movies do these days, which is it's clearly a movie made by committee. It's clearly a movie with too many fucking ideas, uh, that you can almost tell it's like, Oh, this was this executive that gave notes and Oh, you got to please that guy. Oh, and this, you know, this, this was this, uh, uh, you know, the, the director really wanted this in the movie. So it's, it, it's like, there, there's no sense of vision or cohesion. Uh, like, you know, when I was a kid, the movies that were big blockbusters that really introduced the blockbuster, we didn't really have movies that made over a hundred million dollars until I think jaws, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, we had, you know, Jaws and Raiders and Terminator and, you know, they, they were big budget tentpole movies, but there was still a very singular vision behind them. This is just vulgar. Um, it's not bad. It's got some good stuff to it. It's even got some heart to it. Um, but it's just that gets buried underneath just this corporate Bunch of fucks sitting around uh, uh, a meeting table. That's LX. I don't know what she wants. Oh, now I know what she wants. Sitting around a meeting table with the director. And it's like, well, what about this? I had an idea last night when I was on my jog. What, what, what if Black Adam is Black Adam? But at the end, see, he has this catchphrase, right? Uh, it's just like, and then suddenly the zombies at the end. It's just, it's just like, you know, what I really always wanted to see was superheroes and zombies. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. And all the yes men around the fucking guy. I mean, it just... And then suddenly you got fucking zombies in a superhero movie that's like thrown in the last act. It's like, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? So there's a, you know, the, I have a love or I have a really like despot, really like slash despise relationship with this movie. Uh, I thought The Rock did great. I liked the character of Black Adam. I liked the intensity um, it, it just, it can't escape this. I mean, even this, look at, look at this crap CG. It's like, I get it. You know, there, that, that's another thing this movie does. It's just like, we can do anything and it, it, in doing everything and anything, you do nothing interesting, right? There are some, the fight scenes felt pretty decent, but most of that shit, like, you know, the, 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 the all the I mean, come on. Did you see how shit that looked when the ground opened up and the plane came out? I get we're supposed to go, whoa. But instead, it was just like it's so clearly computer. There's no weight to it. There's no heft to it. There's, you know, uh, Adam Smasher felt like, well, you know, we need our own Spider-Man. I mean, he's basically playing Peter Parker. It's so fucking dumb. It is so fucking dumb. And then there's a scene where uh, the Suicide Squad puts uh, Black Adam for a time in this suspended animation. And he's like in this red pod and submerged in water. So he can't say the Shazam word and the camera kind of pulls back. It's like, again, this just feels like such an executive note. It's like, remember Raiders of Lost Ark when you pull back and you reveal, Ooh, and the whole audience, like, Oh my God, it's just so calculated. It's like, there's all these other bodies in suspended animation. Like we're supposed to go, oh, who are all those other people? Just you wait. It's a shared universe. Ugh. That is what I'm left with. Th just the, the, the despising of 
the corporate mentality is just the stink of that is all over this motion picture show. But underneath that, it's not a bad movie. It's entertaining. I watched it quote for free on HBO Max. I'm glad I watched it. Uh, I'm also glad James Gunn, I don't know if he's going to be the right guy with his writing or, or producing partner, but I'm glad they have somebody in there that isn't going to make this shit. Um, because it's just, this is so, it, it, it's just so gross. It's like Marvel did that. We want what Marvel has. Let's just remake it. Let's just fucking do the same fucking thing. No heart, no soul. Fuck you. So I don't believe this movie did well. Um, as much as there's some cool shit in this movie, all the Indiana Jones, Tomb Raider stuff at the beginning is cool. Uh, I'm glad it failed. I'm glad this performed terribly uh, because it deserves to. The audience deserves to say, go fuck yourself. There's better stuff to watch out there. Um, if you love superheroes like I do, if you love the Justice Society and Shazam and Black Adam and all that, watch it. You'll enjoy it for that. But if you're just looking for a movie, like, hey, let's watch a fun movie this week. Don't fucking watch this. Uh, th th this has good stuff in it, but there are much better things to watch out there. If I was going to give this a rating, oh, man, the potential of this. And, and, and th th there's there's an aspect of this movie that's an eight. It really could have been something. But the final product that they released uh, is like a three. It's it's vulgar. It's insulting. It's depressing. Um, it's offensively stupid. Stupid and fuck Warner Brothers.